Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Hope you guys are doing well. You know, the topic of this video is how to deal with crazy women. And this is something, if you have your game right, you won't deal with very often. You know, but on those rare occasions you do, I will prepare you on how to deal with it best and how to not have to ever deal with it again. You know, it's all very simple and easy. You just have to pay attention to the signs. But we are definitely going to get into this. And um, I'm going to help you guys be much more selective with the women you guys deal with and get better results from women. Here we go. So when it comes to dealing with crazy women, obviously that means you didn't vet her very well. And that means that, you know, you probably let too much stuff go. And she got to a point where she felt like she didn't respect you. And therefore she went crazy on you. But the key and very most important thing is you always have to um, realize this will be a one and only time she'll do this to you. Be the one and only time she'll go crazy on you. You know, always keep that in mind. You don't have to tell her. You can if you want, but you don't have to. But you keep it in mind, realize, cool. You know what I mean? I got me a crazy one. I didn't know. Or I kind of let things build up too much. But this won't ever happen again. You know what I mean? So it's all good. And of course, with that second thing, you got to stay calm. Don't go back and forth with her. You know what I mean? Don't escalate the situation. Don't make the situation worse. Or maybe she wants to hit you, you hit her back, and then the police get called, or whatever happens. You don't want to escalate. You got to stay calm and relaxed. Especially after you keep in mind, this will be the last time you're going to deal with her. You know what I mean? It is very important that you stay calm. Because staying calm will allow you to think clearly and will allow you to make rational decisions. But of course, after that, you got to understand that <laughs> when it comes to dealing with these women here, you're just going to get through the situation. Dealing with these crazy women, you're just going to get through the situation. And what I mean by that is you, if you guys were on a date, you're going to do what you can to get home, drop her off, or um, call her an Uber, or she get an Uber, or whatever it is. You're going to do what you can to get through the date or the situation as fast and peacefully as you can. That is important. You know, that alone will help you to stay calm and not go back and forth. And you will just, you just, especially after you realize you're not going to see this girl again, you got to just do what you can to get through the situation. Whether if you gave her a ride or if she got a ride, you just, y'all do your thing. You go your separate way, she go her separate way as fast and peacefully as you can. But then, of course, you have to learn. You got to learn what you did right and learn what you did wrong. You know, especially in this situation, you did a lot of wrong because for her to go crazy on you like that, that means you let her go through a lot of steps with you. You let her do a lot of things. Maybe you thought she just so sexy. You was like, ah, man, it's all good. She looked too good. It don't matter. I'll let her get away with this little disrespect here, the little slide, com slide comment there, you know, and you let her um, really show that 
her little disrespect had no consequences. And as the disrespect grew, the little side comment, side comments here grew, got worse, worse. Boom, she blew up on you, went crazy on you. And here you are. You know, maybe you outside a restaurant. I had a situation like that. I was outside a restaurant. Girl went crazy on me, and, and it's true. I could have handled that situation a lot better early on, but I didn't. You know, and I was, I kind of put up with the disrespect. I put up with the little things here and there. And it just got worse. Got to a head and it exploded. So I understand. You know I mean? I get it. And I get it. Sometimes it is easier said than done. But you got to always realize. Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to get sex? Or get some sort of pleasure from this girl. You know what I mean? It is always that simple. Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to get pleasure? You know? So, you got to always keep that in mind when dealing with these women. You know, but it, it is always important that, of course, you learn from your experiences learning from your experiences will help you to not go through the experience again learning where you went wrong in terms of um i think i said that but <laughs> still again you gotta learn you gotta learn <laughs> you know doing too much when it comes to this girl these girls Letting them get away with all these comments, disrespectful comments. They come back to bite you. You know, so don't do it again. But last but not least, you got to always realize you will get other women and there will be other women for you. And that's, I think, one of the most important things because with that, then you're not willing to put up with as much stuff. You're not willing to uh, sacrifice your happiness for pleasure. You know? Because you realize happiness is the most important thing. If this person does not bring happiness into your life, then she's not going to be in your life for very much longer. It's that simple. You as a strong man, you have to have Standards and boundaries where if people are not bringing value or happiness or pleasure, something that will benefit you into your life, they're not going to be in your life for very much longer. It is that important to your sanity because you as the king of your kingdom have to make sure all aspects of your life support you being the king of that kingdom. And that's not just um, through getting women. But it's also through your social interactions, whether it's friends, family, your job. Everything has to work. Your state of mind also. Everything has to work for you to be the king and have a peaceful mind so you can focus on what you got to focus on instead of dealing with women who or people and things that take away your peace and your joy and your happiness you know so it is all very important you gotta realize you're the king and when especially when it comes to women they're replaceable if they're not adding value and peace and joy to your life i mean it's just simple like that you can't be afraid of it and always realize you will get other women who are more attractive or the same, but will treat you better. You know, so that's all I got for y'all today. You know, definitely take what I'm saying here, learn it, apply it. You will get results, you know, and I'll help you stay away from them, them crazy women. You know what I mean? So um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you, you think about this video. You think it's real? You think it's full of BS? 
let me know hit that notification button and of course let me know what other videos you'd like me to talk about what other topics you'd like me to talk about and um yeah that's pretty much it of course you know if you find value in this video donate i appreciate all donations and last but not least i will see you guys next week but always remember the strongest man is the happiest man <laughs> till next week peace